Hello and welcome to this podcast from filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description. I'm Chris, also with a K. And I thank you for joining me today. Today I'm just going to talk and hopefully you're going to listen. And uh, today I'm going to talk about the difference between using computers and knowing about computers. Uh, basically, there's a big difference between understanding how computers work and just using them. A lot of people say, oh, I'm not a computer person. I, I'm not good with computers. Uh, this and that. And really, computer usage is is very, very easy nowadays. Um, and I think a lot of big companies try to make you think that computers are difficult to use so that they can market their product as easy to use. And it works. So many people uh, think that they are computer illiterate when really it's just the fear of not knowing how to do something. And they, they make it think it's difficult. That the fear of, of it being difficult. Because uh, really... Anybody can use a computer today clicking on stuff. Look at your phone. You click on this, click on that. It's it's not that hard. Uh, but people are afraid to, to even look into how to doing something. So many people I know, they don't even they don't even try to figure out how to do something because they think it's going to be too hard. And that's what these companies have done. They've put it in their heads. Computers are difficult. Buy it, buy an Apple computer because it's it's user friendly. All computers for the most part, are user-friendly. It's just a matter of how to use them. Uh, a lot of the, the, the marketing is like, it's intuitive. There is absolutely nothing intuitive about any computer. Computers were not around when, when man first came to Earth, came to Earth, was first put on Earth, first existed. They, they didn't have it. it. It's just not in our nature. Computers are not in our nature. And I'll give you an example of this is, uh, it's probably been about 10 years now. 10 years ago, I gave my mother a computer. I gave her a Linux computer to use. And a lot of people are like, oh, Linux is so hard to use, where it's just as easy as any other operating system out there. Uh, you have Windows, you have icons, you click on stuff, you open your web browser. That is computer usage. That is using a computer, and it's the same across platforms with very little variation. My mother, though, I gave her this computer. I handed her the mouse. She put it down. She did not know how to use the mouse. I mean, when I say that, she didn't know to put her hand on the mouse on the buttons. I, I, I'm doing this audio, so you can't really see it. But she basically, like grabbed like with a claw hand the mouse sideways and started moving it i'm like no no you put your hand rest your hand on top and put your fingers there she didn't know that an x at the top of the window was to close the window or what minimizing and maximizing was i didn't even realize my mom my mother was so computer illiterate uh and this is like you know late uh 2000, 2008 2009 probably so probably about 10 years ago but she got it i explained it to her and she used linux no problem for years now she's got an Android tablet. She doesn't use the computer as much anymore. But so many people are like, I can't use Linux. I, I'm, it's too hard. I got to stick with Windows or I got to use Apple. My mother did not know how to use a mouse, did not know how to close a window by clicking the X. I gave her a 10 minute tutorial. She was able to use that computer. No problem. In fact, it was easier than like uh, Windows. My sister gave her a printer that didn't work on her Windows computer anymore, plugged it into the um, the next computer it automatically detected and printed. It was just probably just a driver issue on over on Windows because you had to install it with a disk and probably didn't work. Where Linux, it's pretty much there already. If you have a you know any standard desktop version of Linux, it's going to have for an HP printer. It's it's pretty much going to be plug and play. Um, but there are so many people out there who also think the other aspect of this. Uh, it's the Kruger-Dunning effect, I guess, if it, which is basically saying the Kruger-Dunning Kruger were two guys who, I don't know, I don't remember when, I think it was like 10 or 20 years ago, they did this uh, little, um, uh, I don't want to say survey, I guess experiment, and they found that uh, people uh, who knew very little about a subject tended to overthink uh, their knowledge on it. They thought that they were experts on it and they, they knew more than they really did. Where people who were really thoroughly uh, knowledgeable on a subject tend to oversimplify it and think it's too simple. My wife says I fall in that second category when it comes to computers. And I'm like, no, 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 no. This is kind of what this whole talk is about today is that there's a difference between using computers and understanding computers, and you don't really have to understand computers to use them. Um, and let me say this, if you consider yourself a computer person, and I've gotten negative comments from this in the past, if you consider yourself a computer person and you don't know how to program, you're not a computer person. And my computer person, when I say computer person, I mean not someone who's made out of computers. I'm saying somebody who is thoroughly versed on how computers work. You can be very good at using a computer, 
but that doesn't make you a computer person. And I'm not saying you have to be the top of the line, best programmer, or have to write stuff in assembly. I'm saying that you should understand the basic concepts of if then statements, for loops, while loops, and just, and whatever language it is, even if it's visual basic, be able to write a simple code to automate something. If you work in IT or any type of computer, you're doing computer stuff for work and you can't write a couple lines of code to automate something, you should not be doing your job. And I probably just insulted a lot of people, but it's true. There's a difference between computer usage and truly understanding computers. And you can't understand how a computer works unless you write code. And I'm not saying, again, that you have to be you know, writing stuff in assembly. If you did that, that's great. You're going to understand a lot more about computers than I do. I've only written a few lines of assembly code to make like a bootloader that displayed some text and color on the screen and detect a key press. And I don't remember how to do that. I did it once following a tutorial five years ago. But just understanding basic programming concepts, you understand why programs are the way they are, not just how to use them. If your job is installing drivers, plugging in printers. You're not really a computer person. You're just a regular computer user who got a job in in computers. And I'm not saying that everybody in the world has to become a programmer. I'm just saying don't consider yourself, you know, knowledgeable on computers if you don't understand the basic concepts of programming. You don't even have to do it that often. Just know that you've you've done some coding before. It can be a simple hello world with a user input and then saving it to a file. At least you understand something. But if you've never done that, and if you can't sit down at a computer and write a simple little script like that, uh, you, sh you shouldn't be working in computers, in my personal opinion. You can disagree with that, and that's fine. Uh, everyone has their own opinions. Um, it makes me think of, uh, again, going back to computer usage being simple. It's just clicking stuff on the screen. Uh, Years ago, my dad got his first Android tablet, just a cheap little, you know, Black Friday sale thing. And he was very upset that it didn't come with an owner's manual. I'm like, what do you need an owner's manual for? It's it's a computer just like any other computer. Uh, you click an icon, it opens something. You click on a text field and you type stuff. There, there really is no owner's manual. Beyond that, it's just learning where stuff is, which changes with each update which uh, on Android, which can be kind of annoying. But uh, that also brings us back to not being afraid of computer usage and companies making you afraid, making you think things are more difficult than they are. Um, I, at work, quite often help people, you know, they try to do things on a computer and I go and I, and I, I don't know how to do it. Just because I know how to program doesn't mean I know how every single program in the world works. And people come and ask me, hey, uh, this program, a program that I've never used before, uh, I can't figure out how to do this. Can you show me how to do this? I'm like, well, I've never used that program before. And I'll, I'll come and I'll click on file. I'll look at under edit, you know, help. I'll look, I usually don't read the help files. So I just start clicking on stuff, preferences. And I'm just clicking through stuff until I find what I'm looking for. But so many people are afraid to do that. They're afraid to take those steps just to, to look for something because they're afraid they're going to mess stuff up. You're not going to mess stuff up if you can't, you know, uh, reset your system in a couple of minutes, uh, then then you're using the wrong type of system. But don't be afraid to go and click on stuff. You can always uninstall and reinstall software if you need to. Uh, but so many companies, you know, Microsoft and Apple, try to make you think that it's so scary that they, you don't even try it. But a buddy of mine, when I'm helping me, goes, he goes, Chris, see, that's why you're good with computers because you're not afraid in there and get to click stuff. I go, well, you shouldn't be afraid either. Just go in there and click stuff until you find what you're looking for. And if you can't find it, Google it. Google it. It's it's not understanding how a computer works. Just finding the buttons to click is basically modern computer usage. And that's the difference between computer usage and really understanding how computers work. Again, not everybody has to be a computer programmer, but everybody should know how a computer works because it's just clicking stuff and maybe typing some stuff. But usually it's just clicking stuff until you find what you're looking for. Google's there to help you. Click through your settings change things. If it doesn't work, go back and change what it was back to the defaults. Usually a lot of programs will have reset defaults as an option, but don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to play and learn, but also at the same time, don't act like you're this computer expert if you don't write code because all you are is a computer user. You're basically like a chimpanzee that's taught to press buttons on a machine. <laughs> You're not nothing more than that if you aren't writing code. And that's going to insult a lot of people. But if you're insulted by that, you deserve to be insulted because you're probably uh, pretending to be something you're not. And people are probably paying you to do something that they shouldn't be paying you to do. Anyway, 
Now that I've insulted you, I want to invite you to filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K, a link in the description. And also check out my Patreon page. If I didn't insult you too much today, patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. I would love the support. Thank you again for listening to me today, and I hope that you have a great day.